Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have the Wayne Goss The Face Set, uh, his new brushes to share with you today. Um, I ordered mine the day of release from Beautylish. They got here yesterday, which was Monday. Um, really fast shipping. As always, Beautylish is amazing. They ship super fast, they package things beautifully, and I so adore it. Also, if you guys were interested in the 504 uh, Inglot Sculpting Face Powder, it is back in stock. I ordered it. It's what I have on for my contour today. Um, and it's one of my favorites, so definitely go get it just in case it goes sell, sells out. Just in case it sells out again, it's really amazing. You'll love it. Um, if you have fair skin, but they also have other colors for darker skin tones and everything else in between. So let's get into it. Um, we're going to kind of go in order in which they're supposed to go because it's 10 to what? 10 to 15. So there's six new brushes. Um, these are the, reform the reformatted version of his old face set, which were the brown ones, which look like this. Um, I do not own any of the other face brush set except for the number 11 which is the one that I'm holding. Um, it's the only one that I own from that collection so it's the only one that I have to compare uh, the other, the newer set to. As it gives me a decent idea about uh, the claims of how soft the new ones are. Um, so let's go ahead and get into it. Let's get started. I'm, at the end I'm also going to share a few tips with how I take care of my, my natural hair brushes. Um, and yeah. Let's try not to make this a really long video, Candace. Just get to the point. Go. Okay. So the first brush is the number 10 brush. And this brush was ex inspired by one of my favorite brushes from his other collections and a lot of other people's favorite, the O2 brush. So this is the O2 and this is the new 10 brush. Um, as you can see, they're very similar. Um, this this brush has a more tapered tip to it and it is ideal for highlighting and bronzing with cream products. Also you can use it with powder of course and that's another thing. Um, even though these are natural hairs normally I would, I don't know why these work with cream products more so than other natural hair. It doesn't really give any information off of that. But typically speaking you don't want to use natural hair brushes with cream products uh, just because they just don't work as well. Um, but these are supposedly from this face set line. You can use them with cream or powder. Um, but here is the new, the number 10 and here's the number 2. And as a quick dupe, if you don't want to buy natural hair brushes, the Sephora Pro Hakuhodo brush is a really nice one. Um, it's not as soft as these two, but it gets the job done and it does pretty much the same thing. Um, I believe it's on Sephora right now for 25 It might be sold out by now by the time I get this video up, but I would check there anyways. Um, and I really like this brush. I will definitely be using it for contour and highlighting purposes, which is what I use this one for. Um, the next brush in the collection is the number 11, and this is the one that I have a duplicate for. So this one is great for buffing. Um, products into the skin, particularly powder, or I personally love to use it for blush. Um, it fits really nicely. Actually, this, br this brush is like the perfect size for the hourglass blushes. Um, I, it, it just fits perfectly into the pan. It's just so nice. Um, but I like it for blush and it, it just applies blush really nicely. It can also do a really nice contour. It can do underneath the eyes really nicely. It can do all over powder really nicely. It's a really versatile, really nice brush. Um, but here are those two. Um, if I didn't already mention it, these are all natural white goat hair. So they will not bleed, so they're not dyed. Um, typically speaking, dyed natural hair brushes are a little bit rougher. Uh, they typically will, like I said, bleed when you wash them. Um, but yeah, I have no complaints. There's really no noticeable difference on these. They look pretty much the same. Uh, since this is the only one that I have to compare to as far as the softness, this one is ever so slightly softer, especially, um, you can't really feel it when you run your hand over them. They feel the same. But when you put it on the face, you can feel how this one is softer than this one. It just feels silkier and it almost feels like blue squirrel. So that. That's pretty awesome. The next brush is the number 12. And this one is kind of like the number 11, but it is shorter and it's kind of cut off at the top more so. 
um, and it kind of has like this straight angle right here and this is really good for contour to blend out contour perfectly oh it's so soft oh my goodness um, this one I will probably also use for blush as well as contour um, I could also see it used for buffing in powder or blending out uh, cream products I really like the shape of this one and it's another really good one um, the next one is the number 13 so this one is kind of like a do-it-all kind of brush is the way that he describes it um, you can use this for li with your liquid foundation to brush to buff it into the skin. For me, it's kind of small, but I could see this working for liquid foundation. I will probably give this a try as I typically am not a brush person when it comes to foundation. I'm a beauty blender all the way. But um, this one, I really like the idea of for contour. I like the idea for maybe doing a little bit more of a buffing motion for my powder or stippling motion um, to really pack it underneath the eyes even. Um, but it's really, it's soft, it's dense, but it's also soft enough where you, it's dense, but it's also soft enough where you wouldn't disturb the product underneath. Um, what I will most likely use this one for is indeed cream products, uh, cream blush, cream highlight and cream contour. I can see myself really liking this for cream contour because it could really, it really seems like it will blend really nicely. I'm actually picking up stuff off my face right now, but it's a really nice shape brush. It's rounded and then it's cut off kind of at the top. And that's the number 13. The number 14 brush is another brush that I have similar brushes in my collection just like this. Um, and I really like it for an overall wash of color. And this is the number 14. And it's a really long, really kind of fluffy, almost flimsy uh, type of brush. And it's super soft yet again. So this would be good for those really, really pigmented blushes that you have a hard time controlling. This will pick up just a little bit of product and it will allow you to put just a little bit on your cheeks with a nice sheer wash of color like I said. Um, I also really like this for highlight. It does a beautiful job at highlighting those cheekbones. And your temples and doing other things and you could even do a really really soft contour with this one I really like this one um, and the last brush is the number 15 brush and this is the brush that I will probably get the least amount of use out of and it is the fan brush this is good for I would I would say that this is good for highlighting precise contouring you know in the hairline on the cheekbones uh, for highlighting and then contouring in the hollows of your cheeks um, even contouring your nose this would work really well underneath you know right here which I usually do contour um, but overall this would probably be the least used brush in the collection for me uh, just because I don't reach for fan brushes very often in fact I don't even own a fan brush because I don't reach for them this will be the only one that will remain in my collection because it's a set I can't I can't get rid of just one um, Oh, and that's another thing. At the moment, this is only available within the set. It runs $250 on Beautylish. Totally worth it. Um, it breaks down to around $41 a brush, which isn't, which is pretty reasonable compared to other brush, to other brushes that are on the market of this quality. It's a pretty, it's a pretty decent price. Um, I think it's pretty fair considering all the work that goes into making these brushes. Um, they are stated as being cruelty free. Um, they are handcrafted in Japan. Um, what you consider to be cruelty free and what he considers to be cruelty free and what I consider to be cruelty free can all be different. So that is open to your discretion and to what you want to purchase and how you feel about it. Um, so you can make your own decision. Um, I can only go off of what he said and his promises to his consumers and yeah, um, I personally do trust I, I personally would like to think that I can trust his word and when he states that something is truly cruelty free then there you go. Also if you do order, um, this is available on Beautylish like I said, if you order through Beautylish you can do a three time payment so you don't have to pay for it all at once because I know 250 is a lot to spend for some people. Um, so you could break it up into three payments of $83 if you wanted to, um, which makes it a little bit more bearable to, to purchase. I would say that they are softer than the original set, and if you're like me and you've just been wanting to hoard them all, then yes, go ahead. I have been collecting his brushes since uh, the first time I ever purchased this brush was his airbrush, and I have this one here. Um, and I've been slowly collecting and building my collection since. 
Um, a couple of other, another dupe that I have for your brush, for his brushes, if you're interested, is the Wayne Goss, for the Wayne Goss 00 brush, which this is my all-time favorite brush that he's ever made. This is, this is a brush that does it all for me. I can take this one brush, I can do my contour, my highlight, my blush, my bronzer, I can bake my under eyes with it, I can swipe it away, I can do everything with this brush except eye makeup. Um, and I love it. This is the one brush that I take traveling with me and it, it's, it's my favorite brush. Um, the dupe I have for it is from the Sephora Pro again, Hakuhodo collection. And this is synthetic, yet again. I believe this one is running about $30 online right now in the clearance on sale portion of Sephora. Um, hope it should still be there. If not, I'm sorry. Um, you can probably find them online. I'm sure used. Uh, Poshmark always has them up on sale for really, really cheap. Um, but it's a nice brush. Once again, the Wayne Goss far superior in how it's made and the feel and how soft it is, but you get the same results with this brush. You can you can do the same exact things with this brush as you can with that brush. I love them both. Also, if you want to see uh, how they came packaged or anything, you can go to my Instagram. I have some pictures on there and you can see how it came packaged and everything from Beautylish. It was really nice, really, really pretty put together. Um, so let's get into how I take care of my natural brushes and be really quick. Um, so when I'm washing my natural brushes, I don't, so I don't wash my natural hair brushes that often. I wash them about once a month and that is if I'm continuously using them. The one that gets washed the most for me, like I said, is my Zero Zero brush. It gets washed once a month and how I wash and in between washings, the way that I clean it is I take a clean microfiber towel such as this. You can get them from the dollar store. You can get them off. You can pretty much pick them up Walmart, Amazon, um, any microfiber towel. Um, and I take it and I just simply stroke it along there when I have powder and everything in it. And it just cleans it. It takes out all the powder and everything um, that's in it. It loosens it all up from the brush and your brush is pretty much like clean and new again. But when I finally want to do a deep clean, I always go for my African black soap. Um, I get this once again off Amazon. This is with cocoa butter and vitamin E. You want something that is hydrating because it is natural hair. You're, you don't want to strip your brushes. You want to wash your brushes with lukewarm to cold water and you want to make sure that when you're washing them you are pointing the ferrule down. You don't want to wash them and have them standing up like this and having the water drip down all the way into the ferrule because that of course will loosen up the glue. Um, another thing is, is I have never, I know some people have complained about shedding with their brushes. I haven't really experienced shedding with my Wayne Goss brushes. The only one that I have had quite a bit of shedding since just yesterday is this one, is the fan brush. Other than that, I haven't really experienced any shedding. Maybe a couple of hairs, maybe one or two hairs here or there um, while I'm using it, but nothing, nothing that's worth mentioning. Um, so basically, I hold it at an angle I wet it in the water and then I take it and I stroke it along the soap. I cleanse it and I take my e.l.f. cleansing brush thing. It's like $10 on their website. You gently stroke it, you get it clean, you rinse it off, you do all your normal things that you would do to any other brush. Just And like with any other brush, you want to make sure you're holding it at that angle as well. It's not just with natural hair. The one thing that I do that a lot of people probably don't know about, and it's something that I picked up from Terra Babies here on YouTube, oh, a couple years back. It might, I, I don't know, the video is probably like three or four years old, uh, I, maybe even older, maybe, I don't know. But if I can find it, I'll link it down below. And if I can't find it, I'll link to her channel because she's awesome. I. She's my, one of my favorite YouTubers. She's one of the people that every time she posts a video, I'm always watching it because she does amazing hauls and she makes me like, I wanna buy everything that she hauls like all the time. And sometimes I buy quite a bit of the things that she hauls and if she recommends it, I'm like, yep, gonna get it. Um, but anyways, so this tip came from her um, and it's basically to take 100% aloe vera, which is this what I get and it's from Fruit of the Earth, and it's 100% aloe vera gel. That's very important. You don't want a whole bunch of added stuff in your aloe vera, you just want 100% aloe. And you take it, and after you wash your brush, uh, you take it and you saturate your brush in it. Um, this one I did earlier today, so it's not dry yet, so I can't show you what it looks like when it's dry, 
but just so you know these brushes had aloe vera dried up in there dried up in the bristles this morning and they're just as soft and they're just they're just as nice as they were yesterday when they were brand new um, so basically I'm showing it I'm showing you on this brush because this is his holiday brush from last year um, and this is a really expensive brush really expensive brush um, so I figured I would show you on this brush to show you that you're not gonna ruin your brush because I wouldn't do this if it was gonna ruin the brush um, but it makes it where it holds the shape really really nicely um, you don't need a brush guard when you do it this way I do use a brush guard because of the way that I like to dry them um, I prefer to keep a brush guard on them but it helps form the shape if you don't have brush guards and it helps keep the moisture in so it helps hydrate the bristles and helps them stay uh, from being sprayed out and frizzy like some natural hair brushes can do um, it also it's really easy to remove all you gotta do is once your brush is completely dry take it flick it in your hands like this a couple times sometimes there's some that you kind of have to go like this with a little bit rougher but mainly just flick it in your hands and it just comes out and your brush is nicely shaped nicely formed and well hydrated um, and that is my favorite way to take care of my natural hair brushes you can also do that with synthetic brushes I've used it in synthetic brushes that kind of have lost their shape and you will also notice that you can do it with cheaper natural hair brushes uh, like ones from Morphe. Morphe has really cheap natural hair brushes and they're really rough but after using the aloe vera you will find that it helps soften the hair just a little bit and it makes them a little bit softer on the skin um, so I do really recommend doing that little tip and trick for your brushes after you wash. I hope you guys found this video helpful and informational uh, let me know if you ordered the brushes from his set um, and let me know what you thought of them because I am in love with them. I I just love his brushes. I love his whole collection. So I will see you guys in the next video, whenever that will be. And 